What's up, YouTube? I'm back. This is part four. And uh, for this episode, should I use that? Or not? Ah, screw it. I'm going to use this. Uh, after I recorded the first part of the series, I actually decrypted an engram and I got this legendary uh, auto rifle. It's a dead orbital auto rifle. Uh, it, I've used it like maybe five minutes and it has a crap ton of recoil. It has a crap ton of recoil. Sorry about that. Uh, my mom came in. Uh, ooh, it has reforge ready. Maybe I should try that to get some perks. We'll see. I don't really use auto rifles, so I probably won't reforge this. So yeah. So this is the loadout we're gonna be using. That, the Vestine Dynasty, and the Gravity A. All right. So let's go. And yeah, we'll just stick with normal difficulty for it's, for it's time's sake. <laughs> the House of Wolves is on the march. Their surrounding Vex strongholds across the Ishtar Sink. Every soldier under his command is down there. Skolos has either gone completely insane, or he's become a tactical genius. I love field work, but the hunt must end. Now. Alright, let's go. So this mission is probably my favorite out of all the DLC ones. Just because we get to go back into the Vault of Glass. Well, not exactly like the actual vault, but we get to go to the Templar as well. Skolas said, I am Kel of Kells. All houses shall burn. All will bow before Wolf Banner. I'm getting a fallen comm channel interlaced with Vex coding. Whatever he's doing, I've never seen anything like this before. He's mad. Okay. Alright, let's go. Sign. The wolves are assaulting the This thing has of glass. very little impact, I'm what assuming. Is planning? I don't like this Praetorian. They've, they've cracked the seal on the vault. Get in there, Guardian. We have to stop them. There is no I mean, is there? Okay, I actually might die. Oh, man. Is there a... Yeah, you die. This thing has so much recoil. I'm probably not going to end up using this for a very long time. I'm just going to run past these guys. Alright, we're in. It's nice, uh... Not having to hold the uh, gates or whatever you want to call them, the plates, for like maybe two or three minutes just to open up the door. I wish there was an easier way to get etheric light instead of having to rely on luck or Skolos having to do the crazy. level 34 prison of elders. I've seen reports from Prince Aldrin's crows. Reports about the technology of the vault. Really, just awful stuff. And uh, for the next episode, since I've already uh, completed the whole story on my warlock, I'm going to be using my titan for the final mission, which should be in the next episode. So uh, stay tuned for that. Okay, I'm putting this away. I cannot shoot with this thing. I actually am going to dismantle it right now. That's a horrible... Alright.
this weapon is so much better. Bad. Very bad. Wolves trying to attack the yeah, Oracle's big glowing squares. I love, uh, Ver what, what is, what's his name, man? I love his description of the Oracle's glow, big glowing squares. The way he says it is funny. Someone has tried glitching through here. Oh, wait, did I put a... No, I didn't, actually. Because that actually leads to the Gorgon's uh, Labyrinth. There we go. <laughs> One more. That's a lot of enemies up there. Guardian, even better. Clear out the rest of those wolves and we'll talk. Really? I can't melee through that? Oh, this guy's... Alright, you're getting sick. Oh, I might die. Oh, God. I pretty much just wasted most of this and my super. Aw, oh, that didn't even hit the captain? Aw oh, man, I'm not doing too well. I should be pretty much done with this mission. I hate how captains teleport, they're not fun to deal with. wanted to use the oracles as taps into the Vex network. This isn't just a hunt. A fallen house with Vex technology is a threat to the whole system. Things simple now. Yes, we find Skolas. We put an end to Keller Kells. Or wolves put an end to us. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.